We have a very pre-fall outfit today for work. So I have this white Abercrombie tee, this Target sweater vest. These jeans are Airpostel and my knockoff Birkenstocks. But I love this outfit and it's perfect for when it's still hot outside. So I think it's so cute. Now it's time to drive to work. Winston and I have made it to the office. He is sleepy. He's stretching and waking up. He slept the whole ride. And now we're gonna have a work day in the office. I just have some meetings, but they're all in the office and not at any other places. Normally I travel to places, but today we're just in the office, so good little work day with this guy. Say good morning. Hey. It is 5.30. <laughs> you know how office days go. They always go away from me. But I did get the chance to get a crumble cookie. And it's the Olivia Rodrigo Guts Tour cookie. Are you kidding me? So I'm going to taste test it for you all. Right here. I think this is humongous. Okay. Hmm. I love the frosting. I haven't gotten to the jam in the middle though. I'm just gonna lick that part and see what it tastes like. Oh wow, it's like grape jelly basically. Not sure about the grape jelly, but the frosting is good. I'll rate it 6.5 out of 10. I'm a chocolate girl at heart, so there's no chocolate, which is disappointing, but that's my little taste test of the cookie. Now I'm at Young Adults, so I'm gonna go inside and we're gonna practice for service. Good morning. I obviously was a terrible vlogger yesterday, but I've said this before on my channel. I have crazy Mondays. Mondays are just crazy for me because I normally go to work in the office and then we have church at night, young adult. It's just chaotic every Monday, pretty much. So I'm here. It is Tuesday. We had a late night because after church, one of our friends wanted to go out to eat because she is leaving for the mission field. So we did that and I went to bed at like midnight. And that doesn't sound that late, but I don't normally go to bed that late. I try to have a very good sleep schedule of 7-8 hours. So, I slept in until 8.30. Woke up, took care of the puppy. I went on a little run. So, that's good. Did something big. And now, I am making some posts for the day on my computer. And... Later today, I am picking up my little brother and he's going with me on a content adventure. So we are going to go UTVing. That is not really up my alley, but I am going to do it. My brother is ecstatic. I'm just doing it for the social media content. So we're going to do that later this evening. So fun adventures. I am just going to be chilling and working until I have to leave in two hours. Good acai bowl day. Mm -hmm. 
This one's for me. Say something this time. <laughs> Thursday now. No, it's not. It is Wednesday now. Right? What day is it? The second I thought it was Tuesday. I'm pretty sure it's Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Okay. <laughs> it's Wednesday. And we are going on a date. Mainly, part of it is running errands. Part of it is fun stuff. So, not too many exciting things happening. Just hanging out. Um, we may go to Target and look for fall stuff. I haven't seen much fall stuff at my Target, so I don't know what is happening with them, but they gotta get on it because I'm ready and they're not ready with me. So, if, if you're listening, Target, get on it. You think it looks good? Presentation. Amazing. Whose husband is this? Whose husband is this? Someone come get him. Someone come get him. He's lost. It is Thursday and I finally am having a work from home day. I have needed a work from home day so bad. I don't know if anyone else is also experiencing this, but August is or has been the busiest month for me. I've literally had something on every day of the calendar and I am tired. I'm wanting to hibernate <laughs> because there's just so much going on. So, finally have a work from home day. Today I have a call at 10 that I have to be on. At 3, I'm going to shoot some video at a factory for a website. And then I have... A few Facebook meetups in the middle of the day um, and then at 6 tonight I'm going to play cards with my grandparents and my brother before he leaves for college so it'll be the last time I see him before he leaves so that's what is happening today I am eating this bagel for breakfast and I'm trying to do the seed cycling thing if you have seen it online where you're supposed to eat two types of seeds during the first two weeks of your cycle and different seeds during the last two weeks. So I'm in the follicular phase and that means it's pumpkin and flax seed. So I'm trying to digest those as much as possible and so I put it on a bagel. I don't know if it's going to be good but we're going to see. I'm literally superwoman. I got ready in 25 minutes. 25 minutes. I showered, got ready, did my makeup, did my hair, skincare, all of it in 25 minutes. I think there should be a world record for that. 
So, yeah. I just wanted to share that accomplishment. But now, it's time for the call. So, I am going to jump on. Right there. It's me and Winston. In the car. <laughs> He's giving you the docks and side eye right now. But, we just did a Facebook meetup. I sold some jeans. And now, we're going to go try the fall flavors at Starbucks so let's see there's an apple croissant okay I don't know what I would like so I need to decide I will come back and give you my review hi what can I have for you hi can I get the iced apple crisp oat milk shaken espresso and a tall Yeah, I have apple oatmeal shake and espresso and that's all I think of for you. And can I also get an apple croissant? Yeah, you want that? You want that? Yes. Okay, let me know if you can't wait though. Thank you. From Starbucks, I got the apple crisp oat milk shaken espresso. I obviously have drank some of it. I would rate it a 6 out of 10. I really like a lot of sweet things and this is not super sweet so that is my rating on that I also got the apple croissant which is not really a croissant it's more like a pastry something this is lovely I think these are really good I would rate this one an 8 out of 10 it just I wish I had more apples but this one is really good I'm back home now but not for long so I it's 1 30 I did three Facebook meetups because I don't know what happened my phone has just been blowing up with people wanting to buy Facebook stuff which is really convenient for me because I get some extra money so I did three of those came home and now I'm gonna work on my computer for only like an hour and then I'm going to a factory and taking pictures it's a toilet paper factory so that doesn't sound very exciting but it's for a website so I'm gonna go there do that real fast it won't take too long and then I'll come back so a lot of random errands driving in the car coming back but let's work on the computer Happy Friday. I am about to jump on another call. <sighs> yes, this is the link for it. So I'm going to do that. And so far what I've been doing is I did 1230 again. I got ready, made the bowl that you saw. And I was editing some social media clips out of a big long clip that a pianist sent me because I post for a musician so that's pretty cool so I was in my little editor changing the size of it because it was in like a YouTube video so I changed it to an Instagram real size then I made clips out of the longer video that musically made sense not just random clips but you know the ends of phrases so using my musical ability with my social media ability that's fun <laughs> what today holds this morning is not going to be that fun but the rest of the evening is going to be a blast so in the afternoon i'm meeting my friend and we're going to go fall shopping 
fall is really upon us. I'm getting into the fall mood and so is she. So we're going to go fall shopping probably at Target, Hobby Lobby, and World Market is what I'm thinking. Then come home. My friend another friend is coming over because we are hopefully going to watch the whole Emily in Paris part one that came out. So I'm excited for that because I love that show. It's so good. So a really fun, exciting Friday and that is kind of what's going to happen. So I am going to get on this call and I'll talk to you soon. Hello. <laughs> We are going to do a little test. taste test. This is my second time going to Starbucks in this video. <laughs> this is the pumpkin cream cold brew. She's already tried hers though. Yeah. Oh, I actually like this better yeah. than the apple one. I feel like this is not the best one I've had because normally the cold foam is like real thick and it like floats at the top. But this one should just kind of like poured it in there and it kind of mixed. Our customer so. service experience at the it was Starbucks not good. is not really good, so <laughs> it was I not got good. this little guy. Let's go! <laughs> Let's see. Is it chocolate? Oh, it's not. That was unexpected. <laughs> um, my rating, this is not chocolate, so I'm upset. Um, five out of ten. Mine for this is six out of ten normally it's like a nine but not today not today this one i'm gonna rate seven out of ten because it's better than the apple one so yeah now we're gonna hang out and then go shopping <laughs> <laughs> you know the vibes <laughs> what are you gonna play next what's happening oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's too many holidays. <laughs> good job, everybody. You're doing good here. <laughs> Whoa. Those are really pretty. They're These probably are the chairs that I would pick for my house. I'm back home from shopping. So I'll show you what I got. First, this is kind of random from American Eagle. I got this bag. It's like a big shoulder or sling bag, depending on how, I don't know, long you make the strap. The reason why I got this is we've been looking for a big bag like this for Winston for his stuff because we take Winston everywhere and right now I just have an old airy shopping bag that I've been using but I wanted a real bag with a zipper that we could put his stuff in like his bowl his extra food leashes like stuff like that I wanted a bag for that and then we can just grab it and go Oh my gosh, I realized the freaking girl left a tag on it. Oh, I hate when they do that. Anyways, so I got that bag. That's what I was trying to tell you. Then from Hobby Lobby, I got this runner, fall time runner. Thought it would be cute just to kind of spice up our table. With my fall decorations, I slowly add more each year i don't have a lot but each year i just kind of get a few little pieces for my house so that's what i got for that and then lastly from target i got this because i've actually been wanting this for a while it's to hold your cookbooks i've been wanting this for so long but i never could find a wood one that was affordable so i finally found one that was not like 30 40 dollars i just was not spending that much money then i'm so excited i finally got my pillsbury cookies i normally get two or three of these in august and i um put them in the freezer and save them because those are just classic fall snacks 
Then for my watch party tonight for Emily in Paris, I got these little cookies because I felt like they were French themed, you know. Then I got French bread, naturally. Then I got sparkling cider, of course. And lastly, I got salami and cheese for a little board. And that is what I got. So not too much. <laughs> oh no. Excuse me. Emily Proctor's quiet Ooh. to me. Emily in Paris night. Do you want to be in this? Woo! <laughs>